Hey guys and welcome to my very first English YouTube video. Usually I do videos in German, but today is a special occasion, so I decided to make this one in English. And a special occasion being me and Dr. Hunter Fancraft are having a little collab going on and that means we try to combine our skills as best as possible to make the project turn out as best as possible too. And since I know his audience is mainly English or at least international and won't understand German as well, I decided to make this one in English as well. But no worries for my usual German viewers, I also will add a German subtitle for the whole video. That being said, let's take a look at the project we got at hand. Alright, so this is what the collab is all about. Dr. Hatter Fancraft already did a lot of work on this neat little axe, but as you can see it's not finished yet, the wooden handles are missing, but that won't be our job today. Our job will be to get this axe in a usable state again, which means we're gonna have to sharpen it. At first that might seem like a quick and easy done job, but if you take a closer look at the edge, you will see that this edge is actually in a pretty horrible state. Which for us means we will have to do a lot of stock removal, that means taking away material. So the first step on our journey will actually be to remove all the pitting and after that we can take care of creating a nice apex and getting this back to sharp. So for removing all the deep spots and all the pitting I will clamp it down in this vise and I will use this rubber inlays so I don't damage the already pretty good looking axe. Alright, as you guys can see, this step took care of all the deep spots and all the pitting, which now leaves us with still a very dull edge. So our next step will be visiting the good old belt sander and giving this axe back an apex. So for those of you who aren't really familiar with the theory of sharpening something, before we had our little angle grinding session, the edge might have looked something like this. Don't mind my bad drawing skills, that's just a sketch. And right now the edge might look just something like this, which means we took a little bit of material off of the left side and on the right side. And so we are left with a pretty okay looking bevel as I said, but we are still very far from creating an apex over here. So what we're gonna do on the belt grinder is actually remove as much material as we need to establish a nice apex over here that we get to a nice point on the top. Alright, the edge is looking actually pretty good after the 100 grit on the belt sander. And of course also we accomplished our main goal which was to apex the edge. So what does that mean on our drawing? We actually removed now all the material we had to remove. Wait, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna just redraw that. So this is our apex right now, right here. And the belt sander went this way and pushed actually a little bit of material over the edge and created something that we call a burr. So a little bit of material that got pushed over the apex and is now stopping the blade from being sharp. So right now we actually would be able to just remove the burr and have a nice sharp edge, but of course we also want our axe to look good, that's why we're switching out the coarse belt for the fine one to remove the deep scratches that the coarse belt left. Alright, that's how it's looking after a 150 belt and you might even be able to tell that there is a little burr going on, which as I explained is pretty normal and we're gonna have to take care of it in the next step. Alright, as I just said, moving to the final grid didn't really change anything on our sketch, but what I like to do now is actually putting on a micro bevel, which means we're just gonna raise that angle up a little bit 
and well that's actually a bit too much but i hope you get the point and we are going to accomplish this micro bevel by just raising up the angle which we are grinding on so before we were doing this angle right here and right now we're just gonna raise the blade a little so I just did a really quick redraw of my sketch so you can see it better. We're gonna increase our sharpening angle for just a few strokes so we can increase the angle right here. And obviously this material all will be gone. And that should result in the edge which is still very very sharp but also has the advantage of being more stable which in an axe is pretty desirable. So just so you know what I was talking about, this would be somewhat our usual angle of grinding and we're just gonna raise it just a little bit and do a few strokes on either side to establish that micro bevel. All right, our edge should be looking somewhat like this. We have a little tiny, oh, that actually a bit big, but just so you can see it. We have a little tiny burr again which formed from the material being pushed over the edge which we now have to remove to get a final nice sharp edge and we are going to accomplish that by stropping so i'm going to use wood for that some people use leather but the main idea is the same we just have a surface with abrasive compound on it and we pull the edge actually away from it and so bending over the burr from left to right and making it want to fall off and also since we are using abrasives we're going to wear away this burr. So one way or the other we are going to get rid of it and being left with a nice edge. Okay and that is how the axe looks. I'm actually pretty pleased with how it turned out. So the last thing for me to do is show you that this axe really came out pretty sharp. <laughs> okay, as you guys can tell, it passed the paper test and also passed the shaving test. So I'm very satisfied with this result. So everything that's left for me to say is I appreciate you watching the video and making it to this point of the video and I hope I were able to show you a little bit the steps I took and the reason why I took them and if that was the case and you maybe even liked the video I would appreciate it very much if you left a like and maybe considered subscribing. I would also highly appreciate it if you would check out my Instagram because I will of course upload some pictures of this neat little axe we just did. And as I already said in the beginning, don't forget to visit Dr. Hat of Handcraft. He made this little project for us possible. I really enjoyed this project. I hope you did too. But in any case, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see us in the next video. Till then, bye!